Set the workshift, first thing you're going to do is call out the tool. So you need to go into MDI, it's a pressure MDI, yeah, program. I do want T0101. Yep, close the door. Hit the cycle start. That's got that. And then open the door, but don't press reset. You can see up there it says T0101. Hit reset, these figures will change because it will dump the offset. So now you need to just in your hand wheel, so select your manual, press your increment, which will make it flash. Yep and then just wind it into the front face of the job. So what we're now going to make as the front face of that job. So we're going to wind that in until it's level with that. The front, what we're going to machine off. So this is going to become your Z0, okay? So what we're going to do then is we're going to go into the work shift. So if you press your offset button on the screen, yeah, um, press it again. And you should see work shift button there, see it on the down lower there, which takes you to that screen. You've got to be very careful with this screen because you can accidentally change the figure. That's why I put that 548 up there. So if you accidentally change the X, you can put it back. So now on the Z, all we're going to do is we're going to type zero. So we're going to press the zero, yeah, zero, which has gone down the bottom there. And then, um, when we press input, um, this input key down here, it will change that Z figure. See it? So it's changed to 1218144, and your display's reading zero because that's where you are. So that's got the tool offset and it's got the work offset, well, the work shift. If I press reset, you'll see that jumps out because it just dumped the tool offset. So if you did it like that, you definitely get the wrong figure. Okay, yeah, yeah. thanks very much. Yeah, so that's set your work shift, and you can check that if you wanted to. You can call that tool in MDI and move to Z0.